My name is Itunu Elijah, and I'm the owner of Shop Biba. I sell jewelry, glasses, and engagement rings. My name is Kaya Banjuro. I'm a fashion designer and illustrator, and the fabric curator at Hiva Fabrics. My name is Yinka Nidubeolaniyo. My store name is Sweetport, and I sell amazing pancake mixes and everything in a mix that is nice and delicious. My name is Adedola Fouadjikola, popularly known as Temi Overgis. I sell Afrocentric fashion items. Being a first-time mom is hard work. And being a woman in business, whose business actually requires a lot of production effort, is extreme work. The best word to use is crazy. A couple of times I've had to prioritize either the kids over my business or the business over my kids. But I've just learned to extend grace to myself because I know I can't do everything alone. To be honest, it starts with having a great support system. I'm somebody who is not afraid to ask for help. If it's to help me with my kids, I have a very supportive partner, an amazing family, and a lot of friends that are ready to pick up the slack when I'm tired either in my motherhood journey or the entrepreneurship, there's somebody always available, um, excuse me, always available to help me with the things that I need. I have to take a break one month before I had my son and five months after because I really needed time to get familiar with what that new phase of my life actually require. The sleepless nights, the having to look after a whole being whose life actually depends on you was a lot, like a lot and enough. I'm going to say that I'm a very selfish person normally, so motherhood has taught me to put some other people's needs ahead of my own because you have to be patient and see things from the fact that these people are kids or something, they, they are not out to hurt you a lot of times when they frustrate you, so it has allowed me like I said, to be more unselfish because then you look at things from a lot of different perspectives. I think it has to be the from time to time org for my kids. It makes me feel so happy. And even on this when I feel so down and all, I just know that there are two human beings that truly, truly love me. They have this kind of innocent love for me. And I know that I can't buy that. I can't get that in any other place. One word of encouragement. I would say resilience. Running a business and being a mom are both marathons. They're not sprints because you're faced with challenges and each challenge would make you stronger because it's giving you the tools to become stronger and better. The thing is that there's always something for you to do. If one thing is not working for you, it's good to be flexible enough to find something that works for the stage that you are in your life. You can always still go back to the other thing that you stopped doing and you'll be able to come out on top, both as a mother and as a business. To moms in business, I would say you should just do you. Don't beat yourself up too much. We are doing our best. You are doing your best. You are doing amazing. And on days where you feel like you are not doing enough, just be rest assured that you are actually doing enough. This is not easy at all. And I'm rooting for you.